Hello and welcome back everyone to the Foot and Chips podcast. Uh, before we start anything, I'd like to apologize. Our regular pod uh, didn't happen, just logistical issues with a lot of people in terms of being available, hence why there was no release. Um, however, we are making up for it, obviously. We are trying to get this out as soon as we can, since there was a lot of action happening over the weekend. So we are talking about uh, it's episode 22, if I'm not sure if I said that already, match week 35. So it's not much, uh, it's not too long now before the season ends and we'll have some winners and losers. But nonetheless, the weekend that has gone by, uh, yeah, really exciting games to talk about. We have our regular panellists, Saleh. What's happening, people? What's happening now? Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Uh, Josh as well, obviously our man, you fan. What's happening, boys? You good? Yeah. Oh, good yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, where should we start? Should we start with the Chelsea menu, or do you want to go into the North London derby first? I feel. I think. I feel we should go for the Arsenal Tottenham game first, bro. That's the key. Yeah. Big game. Okay. All right. All key right. game. Yeah. So obviously there were two games being played on the weekend. Um, regarding the title race well three games obviously with liverpool if you still uh, consider them in there um <laughs> so as, here, as he, yeah as you heard uh salah's laugh there um uh, liverpool didn't do so well but we'll talk about that um for sunday obviously arsenal played in the afternoon and then it was city so uh, in terms of the arsenal game as you can all see the score I'm sure you all know anyway. It was a three for a three two Arsenal winning that game. Uh, a lot of action in the game. Uh, Sal's, I'll give it to you first. Uh, I'm not sure how much you saw, but if you, if you, um, hopefully you did see some highlights or something. You want to talk through it, bro? Um, oh man, I actually watched mm. that game, bro. Oh, really? Okay, good, yeah, good, good, good. All of you, I thought you know what, it's going to be a spicy one. Normally, it yeah, is. yeah, no fun and derbies are the best ones. Now, you know what, bro? It's up there, man. It's up there for sure. You know, I, t- I take the P out of, you know, Arsenal, Tottenham, whatever. But I think it's up there, 100%. Um, for me, out of all the derbies, it's the one that always lives up. Like, there's drama, everything, always. Mm. 100%, because the others can be a bit cagey. I think this one, you mm. both go for it. That's what I like about it, do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, But this one, bro, you know what? This game here, yeah, I don't mm. know. I was watching it, and I'm like, how are Arsenal 3 nil up in the first half? But mm. I think, bro, I'm gonna give you a bit of credit out here, yeah? so take it, bro. Mm. Lap it up. It's the first time. <laughs> I think sign of champions is when you're pl- not playing well and mm. you're winning these games. I feel as if Tottenham possibly dis- deserve to win that game. Um, I think it came down to a couple of corners for you. Something that I wanted to touch on. It's a bit boring, bro. But I don't know how you mm. feel about it. Al. You know, you've scored yeah. the most goals out of corners. It's actually a Premier League record that you're. Um, mm. but you Set you score one more. Super strong. Bro, 16 goals from corners. That's mad. Mm. Honestly, that is mm. mad. I think you got that guy from City, innit? Um, yeah. That training, that... Uh, dead it's, it's the set-piece coach, basically, yeah. Since yeah, he's yeah. come to the Arsenal, um, in terms of defending set-pieces, because remember, Arsenal were known for letting in. <laughs> yeah. They were really bad. Set the pieces, defenders, yeah. they can't never jump. They get bullied. Since um, we've mm. had him, uh, he's taken our set piece game to another level but yeah go on sorry no but bro i think um in terms of obviously you got two goals from from the corners um nicely yep. worked corners um i feel as if um you were clinical i think that that's all that's what the different di- difference was um i think that, um, yeah. Tottenham missed of a few course. chances i think they, they used to hit the post a couple of times as well i think romero mm. should have had a couple of goals in the first 20 minutes i don't know um mm. if you, you, if you remember that, but other than that, bro, obviously mm. Tottenham were they had to come in. They were, they had no choice to play at home, um, and they did sort of try, but you know it was too little, too late, man. But all in all, I think you deserve to win. Like I say, bro, sign of champions when you play like that. Yeah, I think I um, mean in Dar- well in any match, forget derbies. In any match, you can't be three 0 down first half. Yeah, because bro. it's it's like even if you're one 0 or two 0 down. You, you're, you're giving yourself a mountain to climb, right? But in a North London derby, in a in a derby uh, in itself, you can't be down 3-0. It's not even like, oh, you're down 3-0 away. You're down 
Trini lah home. Bro, I hope you the Chelsea Arsenal game, bro. Yeah, shots, side shots. I see, nice. No, 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 no. It's not even about that. It's 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 just like. I can't explain it. Like if I don't, I, well, I haven't seen Arsenal lose like this in a in in a while. Like it's been a good couple of years since mm. Arteta has come, really. But like of all the London derbies, obviously Arsenal Tottenham is the one. Like Chelsea is more recent years because they've become competitive. Uh, but I think Chelsea West Ham is more of a like bit of a rivalry there. But in terms of obviously from what I grew up, it's always been Tottenham. Tottenham's the Tottenham one out of all the London, yeah, exactly. So, like, I've never seen my team lose like this in recent years. Well, obviously, as, as I say that, we lost three 0 Obviously, when Holding was playing, this is that Obamian like a zip period when we had, but we lost in their grand three 0 obviously. But since then, as you can see, obviously, um, it's all been Arsenal three one. Then we won two 0 uh, last year. We do true to very unlucky. I think we should have we should have batted them. We should have won them, mm-hmm. and obviously now three two to make it. Josh, now in terms, or actually, so, give your input quickly on the game first. Give your input quickly on the game. Do you know what? Uh, do you know what is? I watched the game. I watched the first half, and I watched the uh, bit of the second half. Spurs yeah. just been Spursy, man. How can you be three 0 down at home uh, to your rival, mm. like Sal says? And then come second half, uh, Arsenal gave Ch- uh, Spurs a goal. Uh, Red David Rea with a mistake. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then, then they scored another one, but I didn't see them scoring another one to make it three all. So I think uh, overall Arsenal deserve it. Spurs were just I don't know what uh, that player was doing. Uh, he got injured. Uh, the ex Chelsea man. I don't know. Do you know what it is? I think the lineup was missed. I don't know why uh, they didn't start. Ex Chelsea. Uh, Timo Werner. Uh, oh, Timo Werner. Johnson guy. Yeah, yeah. That lonely guy. Richarlison should have started. I don't know why Richarlison didn't start. Because when he came on, he knew. He knows about derbies. He knows about premiership rivalries. He came on and he at least made an effort. He's definitely got energy. Yeah, and he's got fight as well. And that's what you need in a, uh, in a North London derby, in any derby. And yeah, I don't think nasty, any of our players... nasty little player, isn't it, Josh? Yeah, but you know what? He know he he played in that Merseyside derby. I'm sure he played in Brazilian somewhere. So yeah, he knows about the game. But do you know what? Arsenal, do you know what? It's sign of a it's sign of champions. Straight in London is red. London is red. I can't, can't deny that. If you think <laughs> about build, it, the, the, there's, there's, there's two things I want to talk about. There's two things I want to talk about um uh, in this. But obviously, we haven't talked about it. But obviously. As well as being a North London derby, there was another mm. thing that was very um, that added more pressure. So first, it was a North London derby, right? But these three yeah. points, just like Chelsea when they came, and now Tottenham, they had a chance to end Arsenal's hope in the tower. Like they're completely dead. Although it's out of our hands right now, Tottenham had, you know, apps. Oh, he muted himself, all right. Uh, Tottenham could have completely killed Arsenal's title hope. And all that pressure on Arsenal players to go there and perform, not just to beat your rivals, but if you beat your rival, guess what? You still, you know, have one hand on the cup, potentially, kind of thing going on. Now, how do you think they coped with that, Sals? Do you think they did very well in that circumstance? Bro, I think, you know, I can only compare it to last season, isn't it? And I mm. think last season you bottled it. I think you learned a lot from it because this season I mm. was expecting you to come against Chelsea, Tottenham, and all that, and then falter in it. But I think mm. you've kept it going, bruv. You sc- that's like eight goals you scored against Chelsea mm. and Tottenham. And mm. I know you as well know as well. Oh, yeah, if I said that to you at the start before this game, you'd be like, nah, no way. Mm. Can't mm. see that. But I think you've dealt with the pressure very, very well. Um, mm. I think, like I say, bro, you're playing like champions. And you know what? If you don't win the league, I think it's unfortunate, honestly. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just one of those, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those I things. Think... But then you can turn back and say, you know what? It's just Pep's brilliance, isn't it? I think 20 games yeah. like they haven't lost. So... I think they said um, like 80 points would have won you the league like, you know, a couple of years ago. Pre-Prep, it would have won you the league, basically. Um, there is one thing I wanted, Josh, if you want to um, talk about. Give me two is... seconds. Give me two seconds. All right, all right. 
sounds we might as well then um Kai Havertz provided an assist for Saka's goal and obviously then himself scored the goal mm -hmm. do you think he's starting to prove himself again like the talent he was prior to coming to Chelsea and not obviously delivering Oh, you know what it is, yeah? And you know what, bro? I'm, I'm being honest, and I've bigged you guys mm. up. Credit where credit yeah. is due. Yeah. But I'm, I'm never sold on Havertz. You know why? Because I saw yeah. Havertz okay. at Chelsea, yeah? He had mm. these games, like, one or two games. He'd come and mm. he'd smash it. Like, give you top of the... Obviously, the big one was a Champions League final. Had an awesome final. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm. couple of games he comes in and he's killing it, and then he disappears. Next two, three games, he goes under the radar. I think why it's not been highlighted as much for you... It, he's going under the radar mm. is because you're doing so well in the league do you know what i mean no no but last few games obviously he's been scoring assisting as well no, so I, of, of course, that's why but, i say mm. of course but you know what i mean he stepped up to the mark um yeah yeah i have it i think he stepped up to the mark bro but you know what? he's one of those there's no consistency with him because watch um mm. i'd be very surprised if then i think four games left no um if, if he you know if, if he performs the next four games he might just disappear in the next game He's one of those players, bro. You know what I mean? So no. okay, okay. There's this Josh. I'm gonna ask you. Don't worry. Um, I, I'm only asking Sal's because obviously he knows Kai Havertz better than most. Exactly. Um, mm. in terms of for you, okay. Um, winning the Premier League, even though it's not in Arsenal's hand, would that first of all prove to you? Do you know what? He's now showing the player he's supposed to be. This is the guy. You know. That was meant to be at Chelsea, but obviously because he didn't deliver, we sold him. So if if he leads Arsenal to a prem title, would you then say, do you know what, he's that guy? I still, you know what, I'll, it's, it's no hate talk, bruv. I still don't think it's because you know what, even you. Oh well, my god! Even if he gives a nah, prem title, you know I I, I no, can tell you, you know this here. I don't think you won the prem because of him. I would. No one will ever say you won the prem because of him. No, 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 no. Imagine if he goes he's on to of now. Of he's been part of it. Yeah, yeah, like remember, listen. He scored the winning. Like in that Tottenham game, his third goal is the winning goal. The winning so goal. If he doesn't score yeah. that, it's a two-two draw potentially. I'm just saying. But I'll, um, let me flip it on you, yeah, because I was yeah, speaking to yeah. some Arsenal fans as well. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a case of even if you win the prem, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. a lot of Arsenal fans will be like, bro, we need a striker. Yeah, 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 that's and, and then I think it drops we, to the bench. For me, for me, the the issue was I think Arteta bought him as a specialist, thinking he can do midfield. But I think Arteta also knew, do you know what? He can be used as a striker and a midfielder. So I think with lesser opposition, he can be a midfielder or a striker. But the issue is, yeah, maybe when those big game come, big games come, we need a specialist in both positions. So, I'm sorry, brother. Mm. It's fact. So, do you know what? I was out. Yeah. Do, yeah, do yeah, you know what? Just, Havertz yeah. is not a thing. He's not a number one striker, but he'll get you mm. goals if you play him up front. If you play him in the midfield, yeah. he's just gonna disappear. But where where yeah, no. Arsenal drop points? Do you know where Arsenal drop points? Because remember they played him in midfield a couple of games ago. Yeah. And then when they played yeah. him up front, he scored. He did, he delivered. He delivered. So you can't you can't do you say know, that nothing bad no, about him. Um, so the the issue is here. Yeah, um, I think I agree with that Salah hundred percent. When if He's Arsenal get striker. Arsenal, Arsenal will get a strike. Uh, will get a proper striker because we need a proper specialist here. Yeah? I think one of the biggest mm. issue was at the beginning of the season. Jesus never was firing. So he looked yeah. more worse when he wasn't contributing. But now the fact mm. that he's playing as a striker, he can do it. I think our issue is because he's so unorthodox as a player, um, it's hard to see. And I think now we we're coming up to a crucial point where next season, we're like, you know, if we don't win the Prem this year, next season, I think even the fans, even like my expectation, next two years, Next two years, my expectation is we need uh, Arsenal sh with this team, with the way they've been performing, they should be winning a major trophy. So that's a Prem or a Champions League, right? And if they are going to do that, we need to be in the best position, and that's getting a proper striker, yeah, a proper midfielder. So it does mean Havertz might be relegated uh, to the squad uh, to the bench, or it might mean he becomes a squad player. And we're gonna rotate a lot. He's gonna sub and come on, mm. which is fine by me. It's not really an issue. 
So that's that. Um, the other player I did want to talk about, Josh, with you, um, is Starboy Saka. Nah, nah, not Trossard. Starboy nah, Saka, nah, bro. Do you know what? Tro- nah, Trossard has been a better player for me last few games, bro. He's been hold, hold on, hold on. Man. Forget He's few games. This, we're talking about the North London derby. We're talking about this game. Saka's- yeah. His you know corner led Tro- to the Tro- goal. Tro- and that's, yeah. this, uh, that's yeah. three games, I think, in a row now. Where Saka's um, uh, Saka's sort of uh, gameplay has led to three mm. own goals. So last season, uh, when yeah, we won yeah, two 0 at the yeah. stadium, it was his cross slash shot that Loris put into the back of the net. Then at the beginning of the season, remember, this yeah. season, yeah, uh, his corner or whatever it was, cross um, ended up being an own goal. And now his corner that he took ends up being a goal. So that's three goals he's he's directly contributed towards. Through on goal, but obviously he scored the second goal to make it two 0 I mean, is this is what you want, no, from a potentially world class player? Big big I game, go that far. title oh, on the line. Ben, what do you mean? But it's a, no, this is the big game. No, like come on, you everyone yeah. has to admit this was a massive game. It was a massive game. Sal, was a massive Sal, game. Sal, Sal um, stop it. I'm just let go. I'll, 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 no. I'll let just talk. I'll let just talk. Yeah. Just... yeah. yeah go. Listen, I'm not gonna go to the world yeah. class debate. He's not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't go too far, my G. Far. Don't go I never. Too far. No, I said but potentially. Listen, I said potentially a world class player needs to do. I, even I, I would take that. I would take that potentially out as well. I just say he had a really good. He had a good game. But you know what? Tottenham yeah. played in his hands. That bloody high line. Suited Arsenal, suited suited Saka. So when the ball came over the top, it was one on one with Ben, with one on one with that Davidson guy, and you knew what mm-hmm. Saka was going to do. Cut inside and take him on and score. That's if that can, was Kyle can, Walker or anyone else, it would have been a different outcome. Can I say something? Trust me, man. Um, that, that that's no, listen, gone. That same game, Son had a one on one chance, and he was one on one pretty much with the yeah. keeper. No more like Gabriel mm-hmm. wasn't barging him, next yeah, yeah, to him yeah. nothing. And he completely flopped it. I mean, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. like, there's one guy, young guy, know, North no, London Derby, he's scoring, and another guy, same striker, you know, he's meant to be their scoring, sort of yeah. star player, not boy or whatever. He completely flopped it. I hear that. No, I, I'm not going to say Saka didn't have a good game. He scored, he had a, he had a good game. But, you know what, that defender, I don't really for Tottenham. If that was no, no, no. Walker uh, listen, or, or, or listen, anyone else, that's entirely right that's entirely up to Postacoglu. Yeah, I don't know what you think. That sound, formation. But, but but clearly, uh, do you know what? We all know he had a good season. We all know he's got the numbers, he's got the stats, he's young, he's a baller. Hopefully, he can carry it on to the Euros, but he's not there yet, bro. He's okay. not there yet. That's all I'm gonna say. For Go me, himself. I told you. Uh, for me, for me, I, I rate Trossard more. You know what? Yeah, I'll that's just me. Yeah, I, I think. But Trossard, was... Trossard, I'll be honest. Trossard didn't do that much in this game. But go on, South. Now, in in this, if we're going to go off this game, I think Saka was unplayable. Oh, yeah, it's this game. Saka, yeah, I'm, yeah, say, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. saying this game. Is... Now, this... this game, this game for sure, bruv. Awesome game he had. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he, 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 you know, he against Tottenham. I don't know. He he has really really good games. I think this one, like I say, he was unplayable. I, I can't fault him, bruv, in this game. He, he looked dangerous. He looked lively. You know what I mean? It looks like you know he every time he had the ball, go. something's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Do you, do you remember in the mm. second uh, in the second half, uh, someone crossed it in? Uh, I think Harvitz crossed it in, and he and his shot mm. got uh, saved on the line basically by Vicario. It could have been like four nil or something or two nil. I can't remember at the time, but the keeper made a very good save basically. Yeah, but I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm just saying like. Think about the levels of pressure, importance here. So mm. one, it's a North London on a young guy, yeah. on a young guy, yeah. Young guy, yeah. And then on top of that, this game, yeah, you it's a must win. Not even a draw. It's a must win because obviously you want to keep your tile hops up as well. So there's like levels mm. of pressure to perform, for everyone to perform. The only reason I say that is because obviously he's a very key player. There's a lot of controversy talk around him. And and, that, and that's fine. Um, in terms of uh, the overall, obviously there was some uh, penalty controversy. So w- what what did you guys make of the penalty sort of shout? 
by um there were two penalties potentially so one was the uh Kulazewski one so apparently Leander Trossard clipped him when they were in the box which led to the Saka goal and uh um I think party apparently pushed him as well yeah bro so, nah ne- never a pen never a pen bro I, I thought the Leander Trossard one was super soft. Like, the, like, I've seen them give in, but I felt it would have been really soft. Like, so I'm not like wet bothered by it. The party one, I think he's very lucky. I think on some other day they could have, because remember, uh, we're, we're going to talk about the whole Chelsea debacle. Like, in Tottenham as well, in, uh, like, at the beginning of the season, they were allowed or disallowed a goal because of something similar, apparently, they're moaning about. But overall, um, I think there's a, something else a lot of people are forgetting, yeah, and this is why I felt even Arsenal had to change the style of play. Mm. This was the last game in two weeks. Do you remember they had the Bayern game, then the Aston Villa game, then the Bayern game, then the Chelsea game, and now this game or whatever it was. Uh, hold on, hold on. So it was the uh, Chelsea game was a Tuesday, yeah. So Wolves, that's it. So it was a Bayern game, Aston Villa game. Then it was the... So in April, basically, Arsenal had... Let me tell you, in April, Arsenal had one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the Bayern two games, eight games. So I think that's one of the reasons games. why I like... It's a lot of games, and I think by the end of it, like... But I momentum think as well. The, momentum as well. The Chelsea, the Chelsea and the Spurs game, it's... It's not even about physically being exhausted. You're emotionally exhausted, isn't it? Oh, you know what? I'm going to tell you one thing, mm. yeah? And this is yeah. not a dig at Arsenal. Uh, Josh will agree mm. with me. When Chelsea and United have won these leagues, yeah? Well, oh, I know yeah. you haven't done it for a while. We've always had to play these amount of games. No, no, no. no. But this is the first time. This is the first time the these players... Yeah, no, no, no. It's not about sympathy. What I'm saying is, yeah, um, I was I was obviously on Twitter and stuff and I'm watching other YouTube podcasts. And I, lo- I, was, watching, I, I was watching a lot of Tottenham, Tottenham podcasts to see them cry and moan, yeah? And a lot of them were saying, oh, Arsenal didn't play us, you know, like proper football. Yeah, uh, whatever, we outplayed bruv. them. Do you tell get me? So man, I was thinking... Tell these man to get out, bruv. Waste, man. Yeah, go on, So I, I, was th- <laughs> I was thinking, hold on. They've just come off like four or five back-to-back games with short turnarounds. Midweek game, weekend game, mm. midweek game, weekend game. So obviously they're really exhausted. So they thought, what is the easiest tactic that's potentially going to give us three points? That's a uh, low block, obviously, with mm. counter-attack and set pieces. And that's what they capitalised on, essentially. So I don't understand Do like what? why a lot of the Tottenham fans are completely forgetting the fact that, hold on, Arsenal have been playing all of these games, big games as well, the Bayern Munich game. Obviously, Chelsea is a big game, regardless of whatever you you, you want to say. Mm. They're physically, emotionally exhausted. Now they have to go do this North London derby, who's, which has been magnified to extra pressure. You know? So obviously, like they're exhausted, so they're going to find a way to play that's going to help them win, but not uh, make sure they use all their energy. Go on, Josh. Do you, know, do you know what, Al? I was going to say, remember we said uh, how Tottenham didn't have a game in like two and a half, three weeks? I think, yeah. Tottenham, I, think Tottenham's, I think Tottenham's issue was prior to them going on a break, they lost to Newcastle, they lost right? 4-0 or 4-1, whatever. Yeah. Four yeah, yeah. They, they, got, they got hammered. But if it, after a loss like that, you want a game to come within the next one, two days. You can't yeah. build two yes. and a half weeks. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And do you know what? If they... If they if they had a game in the next couple of days, that mm. loss to Arsenal would have been that. So come the Arsenal game, they would have been more powered up. And because yeah, their yeah, very yeah, next yeah. game was North London derby after two and a half weeks, they're still, as soon as they went down to 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, they were still thinking about that loss to Newcastle. Yeah, back in the mind. So, you see what I'm trying to say? I think, so I think, yeah. I think that would play, I think that played a, a effect on, the, on their minds. Because they needed another, you know when you lose, you need another game to come ASAP. You can't yeah, be waiting yeah, one yeah. month. You want to get over it and as soon as possible. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they had a game to get over it, then it would have been a... Mm. They could have had a chance. But because the very next game was against Arsenal and Arsenal on form, yeah. they never had a chance, man. No. So I, 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 I think I mentioned in the last pod, I said, like, Arsenal are going to be super tired. They've got a lot of games, but at least they'll be, like, they'll but be match Bayern sharp. Squad. Bayern squad, Leroy Sané. All right, 1-1, yeah? Okay. 
So I, yeah. I thought, I thought, Leroy yeah, Sanchez there would have been what do you yeah. call it? Um, it's a good game. Man. I, I, Arsenal would be match fee at least sharp because they've been playing all of these games. And I thought with Tottenham, it can be either one way. Either, you know, they'll be super fresh, super thingy, uh, rested, you know. They've got all this time to prepare for Arsenal, figure out a game plan, review all the analysis, figure out what strategy they want to use. But they won't have that match sharpness because they haven't been playing for that long. Uh, because, because, yeah, they haven't played in recent weeks. So, you know, they've had like 10 days off, whatever it was. So, you know, they were itching, maybe the nerves, they think, got anxious you, as well. But do you think oh, Big Ange has been found out? Yeah. What do you think Big Ange um, has been found out? I think, I think Arteta this season... This line... Arteta this season has shown, like, do you know what? When the tough gets going, um, I'll change it up. And he's done that a couple of times. Mm. Not, not a lot. He's varied the thingy. And I think with few more players in the summer, that's going to help him do different kind of tactics as well, like a different kind of striker. We'll get like right now we're seeing Harvard score more from set pieces. We can do a few more things because I didn't realize this. Harvard is like six four, bro. He's like a giant. He's ridiculous how it's big he is. Yeah, he's massive. So like not a lot, not a lot of defenders are even six uh, two, six three. Even he's six four. So. Like there's gonna be a different thing, different kind. So two one. Harry Kane just scored penalty. Oh, nice. Yeah, two one. Harry Kane penalty. It's gonna be oh, a sick way. game at the thingy, man. Bro, it's a sick game now, bro. It's a sick game now. So two one. Um, Harry Kane penalty. So it'd be interesting to see. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I obviously Arsenal's next game is uh, who's the next game? Bournemouth this weekend. Who are you playing? Bo Bournemouth, we'll talk about Bournemouth in a second. Home but away, yeah, Bournemouth home away. It's at home, it's at home. So that's that. But either way, Arsenal won. North London is well. London is red. Yeah, we got the. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, we, London we, is red. We, London is red, mate. London to, is red, yeah. You win something for that. London is red. It's all. That's all you need to know. Um, yeah, but yeah, if, if there are any. Get, if there are any. For that. Any if there are any Tottenham fans out there, you fussy yours. Anyway, bro, they chat the most was, bro. You know what I mean? No, seriously. One thing I want to say to the Tottenham Expression. fans: yeah? How dare they, bro, sit down at the same table as Chelsea, Arsenal, United, Liverpool? You know what I mean? And then they want to be part of, the... bro. You can't sit on that table, innit? What have you done ever, bro? Bro, yes, man. I, I'm telling you, honestly, you know, one man I, league yeah, cup in two thousand and. Whenever it was, do you know what I mean? If like, I could uninstall a club, I would uninstall Tottenham right now. No, but, but life, how, but, how, anyway. how, how, how did they say they deserve, they, they, they deserve to sit on this table, bro? Like, come on, guys. There's it's levels. mad how they, how they become like a top six club. How though, bro? I really only become, mad. Do you know what? They've only become a... They've only become a top six, a top six club because Chelsea United are flopping this season and last season. I've always... And Liverpool last season. It, always, it's not like even that. for 10th. It's not even that. Even like previous it's, years, like somehow they built a stadium because they they got Champions League. They did, you know, the footballing teams. Uh, pot, I think I think the real transition and thingy came, obviously because of the private owners, Enik and uh, Levy, like what they did, the commercial stuff made them quite successful yeah. in that sense. But in terms of like, it's mad like a club that has very little history, very little silverware suddenly. Like they've got a six stadium, bro. and like yeah, they're, they're yeah. regarded as the top six. Like it's mad, bro. Like, anyway, bro. Do you know what? People... They, they, their club logo is a ball with a bloody bro. Come on, man. Like you got, you got. A... <laughs> what, what even is that, bruv? You know what I mean, bruv? Get yeah, a club logo. Sounds... Yeah, get a logo first, then come. Do you know what would have made sense bro. if West Ham was like this? If West Ham you, had like you, a car, you whatever. ain't no lions, cause you ain't no lions, <laughs> bruv. You know what I mean? Come on, bro. Waste man. Hey, anyway, let's, not, let's not get into anyway, talking, man. That's fine. That's fine. That's Do you know what? Yeah, it's funny how none of us have a Tottenham uh, friend, mate. Bro, yeah. they would never yeah. be my friend, bro. Ever. Bro, you know what I mean? Weird. Like, a very hard to come by. Um. Anyway, so uh, let's move on. So should we move? Am I new or Chelsea? Which one? Who wants to go first? Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, we we'll go Chelsea then, bro. All right. Let's go Chelsea. Game. Bro, so listen, Chelsea yeah. obviously was away at Villa Park. Uh, Robbery. Um, Emery's uh, Aston Villa. 
it was a 2-2, obviously. Um, so, yeah, South, take it away. Bro, honestly, yeah, robbery. Bro, I've, I've slated Chelsea. I've been honest, isn't it? Mm. This game, bro, I was I was like, wow. The, the football we played was amazing. 2-0 down, yeah, I understand. And Villa were obviously clinical. and They took the chances, bro. But we outplayed them. I don't know how that happened. Second half showed really, really good character, bro. Came back. But before I move on to that, bro, I think Jackson sc- scored a sick goal. I didn't even know my guy was capable of that, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> my guy chipped the keeper, Shady celebrated like crazy. Bro, I was Shady going crazy, bro. I was like, ah. <laughs> my, bro, went to VAR, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, bro, that was hard. The only time he scored. The only time bro, he scored is offside. Honestly, you can't, you can't make this up, bro. Yeah, my guy scored a banger. Honestly, I swear that I was like, nah, fam. Yeah, I was yeah. ready to hear that in the group chats. I was like, nah, mm. this isn't Jack. Wait, is this Maradona cast, bro? He did that, and then VAR, bro. And I'm like, nah, <laughs> bro. You can't make this up. But anyway, bro, that got VAR debatable. Um, you know, I think could have been a goal. You know, it's one of them ones. Second half, bro. Come back in, play really good, get two really good goals. Score in the last minute, bro, of extra time. Actual disaster. Man's gassed. VAR, bruv. Check for like five, five, ten minutes. And then they say, oh, there was a foul in the build-up. I bro, thought it was quite harsh. You, bro, you he know what? very harsh. I, I'm telling Soft. you, yeah. That, I swear down, it's not even a Chelsea bias, bro. You can't not give the goal, bruv. My guy went to the monitor, bro. And I thought, you know what, monitor, mm. he'll give the goal. My guy saw it in the monitor. Yeah. He let it go in the game. And then for some reason, bruv, my guy... D- d- it's another d- soft goal. one. Arsenal, I think Newcastle, Joe Linton did the same thing to Gabriel. And VAR didn't, like, like intervene to stop it. I'm not bro, sure. Do you remember uh, ages ago, ages ago, when... Ebue or someone else gave a penalty because they backed into someone or something like Liverpool player and they gave it like it, I think the biggest issue is there's just so much inconsistency like 100%. it's mad how how it's crazy like the Premier League is like people you know, dub it the best league in the world it's the best league in the world I mean, no, you know what is yeah Josh, sorry one thing for me is yeah it's not the best the, league, yeah, bro, I swear that VAR needs to come out, bro. Because at least with the referee, if he didn't see it, he can be like, you know, ref didn't see it, whatever. Now, ref seeing it, 10 other mans are seeing it, he's seeing it on the monitor, and he's still making the wrong decision. Do you know what I mean? And it's that's the thing, that, that, that's and, the thing that's even more worrying. And, and you know what? Players as well, bro. They score a goal. They don't know whether to celebrate or not. Like, it's just silly, bro. You know fans, I mean? everyone, yeah. It, 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 bro, it needs to go, man. It needs to go. Do you know what? This was, bullshit came, well, with offside, linesman not putting his flag up, he's waiting, he's been told to wait, then he puts it up. Like, bro, you're getting confused. Do you know what I mean? They're like, what's going on? Do, do you know, Styles, the audio came out today of the Forest game. You remember Forest had like three of three goals disallowed against someone Oh, the penalty. Day, so oh, they, I didn't hear the audio. So, what did the audio so say? Apparently, they apologized to them. Yeah, wow. it cost them, but yeah, ever against Everton, no. against Everton. Yeah, so it's what all, did the audio the, say? It says that it should have been a penalty. But actually, young, fat, actually, young. One oh, of no, them should did, have been a guaranteed penalty. Say, yeah. No, but what did the audio the say? What did the audio say? Audio, hold on, let me try again. Actually, I no, saw it on the bad. thingy, talk sports somewhere. But, but the thing is, they came and apologized, but they charged the uh, thingy for us for the tweet they put out. It's yeah, mad, it? hey, bro. Like, come on, my insult to injury, bruv. Yeah, madness. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, um, let me see. Um, I, I've got it here, so I'm gonna try and da, 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 give me a second here. Okay, let's have a look at slow motion. Oh, wait, can you hear oh, me? Oh, he's absolutely... Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, that's fake. That's fake. Yeah, 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 that's... <laughs> that's a fake one. I can't... That's Are the... you sure they released it? <laughs> Hold on. So this is the statement. No, that's 22nd of April. Josh, you Are saw you about, sure they released it? Bro, I, I would take it with a pinch of salt, man. Josh was talking about Fingy the other day, Potts up and he said he hates Chelsea. No, no, no. Okay, so you know Howard Webb. Well Howard Webb admits Nottingham Forest yeah, should Howard... have been awarded a penalty in controversial thingy, but I'm interested in the in the, in the in the in the thing, bro. Did audio, yeah, I want to see the audio. Yeah, hold on. Okay, okay, anyway, it's fine. Hold yeah, that's mad. Did I did. Talk, talk sport or somewhere. I saw. I can't remember where 
or I heard it or Simon Jordan or someone. I can't remember. But yeah, so so look, this is what I mean, bro. Yeah. This is what you sound. You say this is the best league. It's got the best players, but it's not the best league no more, man. It's not the, the best, best official. It's the best official. league. Josh, the Josh, I, I, I'll tell you one thing. Okay, yeah. listen, I, I, sell, sell, okay. sell. let me give let me give, let me give you an example like this. Uh, Josh, one one example like this year. Portuguese league. If fifth played sixth, would you sit down and watch it? No, you wouldn't enjoy the game. Sells. You won't even okay, know sells, any sells, players. Sells, sells. South, South, South. If Man City win this league this season, it's going to be a farmer's league. Because it's all Man City then. No, 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 no. Come on, no, no. man. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Sh- wait, 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 yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I think league, I've so got man. it, yeah. Uh, we, we, we'll, we'll discuss this in a second. Against Nottingham Forest. Back in match week 34, a game that generated Listen, yeah? a lot of headlines, Howard. It did. Um, mainly centred around three penalty decisions. Nottingham Forest thought that three situations should have led to the award of penalty kicks for them. Uh, we're going to talk about the, the third of those in a moment. The first two we felt were really subjective calls. The first one involving some contact from Ashley Young on Gio Reyna. There was contact, the referee saw that, but didn't feel it was impactful enough to penalise. We've set quite a high threshold for penalising contact all over the field, really, but also in the penalty area. It's what the game has asked us to do, not that every single contact is a foul. And this was one where there was quite minimal contact consistent with other situations that we've waved away this season. The VAR quite rightly checked that one. The second one was a handball penalty situation. Ashley Young involved again. The ball hits his arm. He's moving as he tries to close a shot down from short distance, a cross down, sorry, from short distance. And uh, the referee deemed that the arm was in a natural position and the VAR check completed that one as well, quite understandably in this subjective zone of, of handball. So we thought that both of those situations were in line with our expectations. OK, so let's take a listen to that third Nottingham Forest penalty appeal. Sals, listen. Now, good. Only Ward's play on, play on. Possible oh, side, possible the ball, plays the ball, oh, plays the ball. Second possible penalty. It's not my fault. Looks like he plays the ball. Looks like he plays the ball. Okay, Check. so come again. Slowly place yeah. it, because it just comes Check. in shots. Check. Okay, so they come together. Some uh, There's mutual engagement between them before the uh, playing of the ball. Um, the but it's more of a tussle than there's no yeah, long. What I'm saying there is no clear um, action by the Short defender. Down, right? yeah. Tails yeah. confirm on third decision of play on check is yeah. complete. Both players tussling for the ball. There's a degree of normal contact as they both play the ball in the same space. Thank you. Okay, so everyone I've spoken to thinks that was a penalty. Explain how VAR came to that decision. Yeah, I understand understand why. We would have preferred an intervention on this situation. The referee waves away the, the penalty appeal. The VAR looks at it and asks himself the question. There's a non-award. I'm asking you. He came to the conclusion it wasn't. You hear him describing the players tussling for the ball. He doesn't see a clear, a clear action by Young that he considers to be worthy of intervention, one that reaches the threshold of being very clear. Um, but, you know, we would have preferred an intervention for the referee to go to the screen to make a judgment for himself in this situation. Uh, and uh, probably would have come out with a different outcome if, uh, if that had happened. OK, during that uh, audio, we hear Anthony Taylor mention that he thinks the ball was, was, was won by the, by the defender, Ashley Young. When the VAR quite clearly sees the ball isn't won, shouldn't that just straight away instigate, right, go to the, you've seen it wrong, go to the monitor or not? Yeah, we did hear Anthony Taylor in the footage there say that he believed the ball had been played by Ashley Young. And we know that's not the case. We know only Callum hudson Adoy touches the ball. The first job of the VAR is to look at the footage available and make the judgment. Was the on-field decision clearly wrong? You could have a situation where the referee describes that the ball has been played by the defender. Um, but actually, when the, the VAR looks at it, it sees that's not the case. But it's still not a penalty. It might be that the attacker has simulated, for example. So you can't only rely on what the referee is saying to make the judgment of whether something is clearly and obviously wrong. But if, as a VAR, you're looking at it thinking, is it clearly wrong or not? You can absolutely factor in what the referee says as well. And if there's a particular aspect... For Michael Owen, man. I don't want to listen to this guy. Anyway, uh, so that's that. I don't, I don't know, man. But do you know what? You know, doesn't, yeah. doesn't Howard work for someone who worked for Forrest? 
I swear uh, they no, were it, 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 yeah, was, uh, it was another referee. I forgot the name. Clattenburg, Clattenburg or someone. Yeah, something Clatten- like that. Mark yeah. Clattenburg. Mark Clattenburg. Clattenburg. Anyway, but, there's yeah. there. But either way, is there's a lot of inconsistency. This so season, this I, I think bad. see, I think Chelsea were a bit hard done by, considering um you know how how many times that those kind of goals Arsenal um conceded loads like that because you know other other teams were a bit more aggressive and whatnot. But hey ho, I mean even even in that Tottenham game, Remember another that? one. Um, Romero goes for a header, hits the post. Party kind of pushed mm. him uh, because Party knew he couldn't make the jump. So what he did was he kind of pushed, mm. nudged put Romero off. That could have been seen, but they could have classified it as minimal contact because it didn't look like a strong push for Hejo. But either way, I mean, Chelsea drew a 2-2, which is still um, it's kind of a good result. I will say Conor Gallagher's goal was a worldie, bro. Yeah, banger, man. It was a solid goal. Uh, Madueke scored finally. Um, yeah, you know what? yeah he, he chips in here and there, bruv. I think yeah. um, Cole Palmer had a quiet game, but you know what? We I was going to say, he, he, he shied he just, away from the big moment. Nah, and you know someone, what? the original owner of the celebration, turned up. Do you know that? Yeah, bruv. Yeah, yeah, of course, bruv. You know what I mean? Because yeah. um, he took it from him and he said he's, that's his boy. Yeah. So he started yeah. doing, oh, Ramsey doing that. Ramsey, yeah. Ramsey, yeah. He's a good nah, player, nah, Morgan, 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 Morgan Rogers, Rogers yeah. or something. So the, the, the oh, boys, Rogers, it? Yeah, yeah, um, sorry, yeah, that Rogers. was his celebration, yeah, but Cole Palmer said he'll take it. But obviously it suits Palmer because his name, that his whole name, thing, you know what I mean? Cole, yeah, Cole yeah, Breezy. Yeah, yeah. well, he's going to be a good player, player um, Morgan Rogers, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Supposed to be good, Um, But, I mean, 2-2... Two, two, I mean, overall, it's a good result, right? Because I, I'll be honest, I was a bit surprised. Nah, bro. I think I I said my my prediction was two two, but obviously two, two, yeah. as as, as okay. yeah um, as the game was going on, I thought you yeah. know what we deserve to win this. I was actually surprised. How I mean, the numbers game. show seventy one percent twenty eight five shots bro, on target to it, four. It was that we were the home team. Twenty one shots to nine. Yeah, so you definitely dominated them in that sense. It's just it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's again goes back to the usual issue. You're not clinical enough. Yeah, not 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 clinical enough. And then I think it's more more than that. I think it's considering sloppy goals or teams have a few shots and then they just score, mm. bruv. You know what I mean? There, yeah. There's no... Like, Cucurella scoring the own goal, I'm sure didn't help. Bro, I'm telling... But you know what? That will let him... I'm not going to slate him for that, but I think it's just mm. one of those unfortunate things. But again, you need to be a sweet stone. Don't turn your back. Simple basics, mm. bro. You know what I mean? I think Chelsea got no back like Miley Cyrus cuts. You know what I mean? A bit of expression <laughs> speed. Bro. You know what I mean, bruv? But yeah, man. That's fine. So from two two to one one, yeah. Old Trafford, the recent home of nightmares. Yeah, it's not all theater Trafford of dreams, cuz it's not theater of dreams. It's theater of nightmares at the moment. Yeah. So of before draw, we start, theaters of draw. Theaters of before draw. we start, um, I do want to say something. Yeah, I don't know if it's appropriate Come now me. or later. Which Sit result down. was worse? And you two can decide this. Yeah. Well, is this 1-1 one, one worse than Chelsea's 2-2 two, two draw yeah, against a 10-man yeah. Burnley? I think Which is Chelsea, worse? I, for me, Chelsea's one is worse. Obviously, we played with 10 men, bro. Majority of the game. You... <laughs> no, Al, it's the what, same Al, team. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> Chelsea's one's worse. Um, but anyway... I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna let you I think lead with that. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask oh listen, I wanted to ask Josai because I was reading here. I don't know if this is true or not, yeah. Yeah, apparently yeah. United have put 23 players up for sale. Yeah, the whole yeah. squad. Yeah, so basically what I've read is and it's numerous uh, outlets have come out with you. So obviously the club is leaking something. Apparently, apart from Ganacho, Rasmus, and uh, Manu. someone else. Menu, 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 menu. Everyone, everyone else is up for sale, including Rashford. They listen to offers for Rashford, but Bruno. So basically, their market is the Saudi market. So wow. Now, so now they told everyone they're up for sale, so they're gonna listen to offers. So yeah, I'm glad of that, man. If that happens, bro, I'll be so happy. But I'd really much doubt it. I don't think Rashford's gonna go. I don't think Bruno's gonna go. I think McTominay might stay, but everyone else definitely. Casemiro, Varane, they're all going. So yeah, but, but listen, going back to that game, Al. Listen, 
So, uh, listen, I was watching the Burnley game, right? Guess who had more position? Yeah. Burnley Guess had more position. Who had more position? 100%. No, no, there's been never a game. Yeah, 53%. I, I, take, I take that back out. I think this one was more embarrassing. How are you letting Burnley control yeah. the game, bro? South, South, yeah. I don't even so know. If, if, if had, you look at the stats, if you look at the stats, I was reading the, you know, I, I was listening to watch alongs and they were saying Burnley are playing the better football. Yeah. Like ah, everyone in the watch along was saying. That's, that's so mad, true. Bro. South, they had more pass completion. They had, well, pass accuracy is the same. Corners offside. But listen, they had more position. We had more shots on target. And we had more shots, but then that's Bruno taking shots from everywhere. So <laughs> that counts from every game. Is, but yeah, we Bruno were dominated gone, South, is, man. Is Bruno gone, gone back to being shit again? Do you know what? Well, like I said, back to listen, listen. No, South, last week he was South good. Game, last week no, he was the savior, no, isn't he? Like, no, no. That was shit. So listen, listen, yeah. listen. South, South, South. South. What, did, yeah. South what did he say? Some games you are good, some games you are shit. Yeah. That I sometimes think, uh, good, good uh, sometimes what's his name, man? Uh, sometimes good, sometimes, sometimes, good, sometimes, sometimes shit. good to so. Yeah, good to so. So clearly he's that. But you know what? I can't wait for this season to end, man. I've been saying this every podcast. Three or four more games to go and I'm done, man. I need a break Can from this. Get, no, but deep it, Josh. Deep it. I know, you man. Burnley, man. Deep, Bloody deep, Burnley. It, deep it. Listen, forget burn. Actually, you know, not forget. That is a shameful result. A relegation yeah, team Burnley, comes bro. to your yard. Bops you off the Don't park, have. yeah. Bops you off the park yeah. and gets a one-one draw. You literally had two minutes or whatever it was until you know the game finishes, and you and guys could. And, and I think they should have got a penalty or something. Or is there one mistake? Do you know? Do you was know what the worst part game? is? Do you remember? Yeah, you know the, the foul it. Onana gave. Do you know the foul Onana gave? Deep this south. That foul Onana gave here. Yeah. The header the Burnley player was about to win was nowhere near the goal. So even if he got the header off, he's not going to score oh because he's not close to the goal. Mm. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, mm. if you see, see the replay, you'll see Aaron Wan-Bissaka is Wait, about to win the header. Spider-Man. Yeah. Class. He's about to win the header, yeah. But Onana comes yeah, off his clear line him <laughs> to come clear, clear him. Him out, bro. He, Bro, yeah. he punches the opposition player. Do you remember what he did at the beginning of the season against Wolves? Wolves against Wolves. It's the same thing. He got away with it. Same he thing. got away with it, right? Or it would have been a 1-1 one, one draw. But this time he did it. He didn't get away with it. They thought, nah, we let this guy off once before. Yeah, you, we're we're you not letting him do it, it once, anymore. Man. You only, yeah, you only get but away with it once. That's what you do. But you know what? It's mad. But you yeah, know what? Um, going back to go, going back to thinking Ten Hag, he doesn't yeah. have a gameplay, man. He doesn't have he doesn't have no te- technical genius. Nothing. He doesn't have nothing. He just let the players do what they want, and they're just doing what they want, and they just. I've scraping, never seen results, a manager. Man. I've never seen a manager that's meant to be elite so bad. Tactically, well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. Clueless, In recent times, I think. Clueless Ten Hag. I think AVB was one of them. I think AVB was one of them when he came to Chelsea. I thought he was really poor. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to think about uh, coaches that came with big reputations that uh, I think, absolutely um, Sc- were Sc- crap. Scolari came to Chelsea. It was Scolari was bad. I was really disappointed in him because I used to love Brazil. Um, who else was? Yeah. Who came in with big rep and actually stunk the place out? I'm trying to think now, uh, like Tot- as a manager. Uh, Tottenham must have had a few managers like that. Man. Tottenham got loads. Tottenham have loads. <laughs> AVB was at Tottenham as well. Yeah, AVB. Chelsea, they Tottenham, were, yeah. AVB, yeah. Mm. How did he get from Chelsea and Tottenham jobs, bro? And he won some yeah, he league. Tottenham, with, uh, he got the Chelsea job because obviously he was smashing it in Europe. In or Porto. Whatever he won. It was yeah, Porto. He was young, yeah. up and they, coming. Do you know what? They thought it's a new Mourinho. That's why they got him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, right. you, can you imagine mm. that season we sacked him, we won the Champions League? Can you imagine? Mm. Like this guy. Di Matteo. Di Matteo, yeah. yeah. Di Matteo done it, yeah. AVB, but, man, I mean, overall... Do you know what? Do you know, Al, going back to the Burnley game, 
United, yeah. right? If they took the chances, because Tottenham dropped points, Villa dropped points, we could have at least, yeah. we could have had of potentially course. fifth place, fifth of place. Course. I don't know what. So if that, if so, out. If that was a Jose Mourinho or a better manager, United uh, managing United rather than Ten Hag, yeah. we would have got that fifth place. Then you never know. If you Mate, go to Champions this is, League. This is what I'm so, saying. Uh, listen, hear me, hear me, hear me, at South. Chelsea yeah. playing Tottenham midweek, right? Mm, if yeah. Tottenham drop points again, and then Tottenham got City coming up, if they drop points against mm. them two games, United could easily get fifth if we won our games that we draw against Burnley and yeah, whoever, whoever. So, but listen, Sal, it was there, man. It was our grasp. Even though we shouldn't be nowhere close to fifth, we could have had it. It's so funny, isn't it? We should have been way below the table, but bro, I'm telling fifth. you, I've never like. Consider and 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 this is the other part of, I was saying deep it yeah. When you know that statement, remember that statement. That statement said everyone's up for sale if the price is right. The only Smart. players that are not up for sale are Kobe Mainu, yeah, yeah, um, uh, Erasmus Highland, whatever, and Ganacho. Three and players. Yeah. Think about it. Who's up for sale now? Or oh, Nana's up for sale. Lisandro's up oh, for yeah. sale. Varan, Casemiro, Dalot, Luke Shaw. Yeah. Uh, well, Sofian Amrabat, not that he's on a permanent here anyway. He's going back. Anthony, mm. Anthony yeah. Um, Amadou Diallo. Anthony, Bruno, Bruno Fernandez, yeah. The the statistician, the stat padder. Yeah. These like like imagine, like look, look how long. Man City are holding on to KVB, KDB, even though this guy's breaking down. You can tell this guy he can't do this for much longer, but they're still apart, yeah. saying, Nah, he's too good, we have to keep him, and he's still performing, you know, relatively well, right? Considering his injuries, his age, everything. But Bruno Fernandez hasn't even reached that, he's not even past 30 yet, and mm. he's meant to be peaking at his prime, he's meant to be the talisman, and they're getting rid of him. Rid of him. They're not going to get rid of you, man. They're just staying here, bro. Nah, you no, know I, what think, out, yeah. I think they could, but I don't know who's going to pay them they're a big not. wage or a big. That's the issue. Yeah, bro, I, 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 you know what? I, I just think, I think Bruno comes. Fernandez, yeah, quality player, bro. Quality player. He says he's got shit around him. That's why he's not being able yeah. to perform. Straight. I really think that, bro, honestly. Yeah, I think Fernandez is, same as well. He needs to get more. Yeah. I swear down, bro. Sometimes when you see him play, yeah, he's like, bro, he's a baller, bro. I'm telling you. It's just when the shit not happening around you, not working. Yeah, it doesn't look good, in it? That's it's like, do you know what sounds? He's, he's he tries them passes, he looks for them passes, them through balls. It doesn't always work, but then when it works, but there's no one there. Yeah, this is the you thing. Bro, if he had the runners in there and stuff like that, it'd make him look good. The team play better. It's Yo, Real Madrid just scored. Real Madrid just scored 2 2. Is it Bellingham? Mm, Vinicius penalty. Vinicius? Yeah, it's a yeah. pen. Oh, he scored two pens. Or just one? No, one. No, pen. first one. Second one, second one. First one's not a pen. Second one's a pen. Bro, did you, yeah, did you man yeah. know as well? Rodrigo, yeah, he's Bengali, bruv. I'm telling you, cuz. This guy's a joke. Me and I were talking about him. Me and I were talking about him. We were talking about him. We were. We were, talking about him. We were, we were. I didn't yeah. rate him, but he's actually really good. Technically, he's really good, man. He's, he's, no, he's up for sale. So apparently, in the summer, uh, Real Madrid will try and sell him, I think, just to comply with a bit of FVP or to get some money in. Because obviously, they're getting Mbappe. Now there's too many players. Yeah, there's Mbappe, uh, Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo, bloody, and yeah, I think they man. do have a few would other winners. So would they're... you take him? Would you take him on your club? Uh, Arsenal, Rodrigo. yes. Hell yes. Hundred, oh, yeah. hundred, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, who's who's, who's going to say no? Signing. What is it? What is Amadou no. Diallo going to start ahead of him? No, Havertz is. Nah, Mudrik, oh, Havertz. Mudrik is going to. Mudrik, 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 Mudrik. Do you know what? Do you know what I was thinking? Mudrik. Anthony. And Mudrik would be the perfect wingers in a team. The oh, on the one on the left. In prison. Let's let's in move prison. on, boys. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move yeah, on. Yeah, you know? we had enough. We had enough fun yeah. of the draws. Yeah, bro. Anyway, um, so I mean, yeah, it, it was a super disappointing but, uh, game. Let me tell you something. Way. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Do you know what? You can clip me, but you, Chelsea couldn't do it. Tottenham couldn't do it. United will will take points out of Arsenal. So I was remember that. Okay. Well, fine. I hope so, mate. I can't. I don't want Arsenal to win the league. Nah. Um, I think I'm end of end of April. I think I think they'll be up for it. I think every time Arsenal come round, these man new players, 
they get oh, out. Oh, stop trying to be humble, bruv. No, you honestly, know, man. Honestly, you right, know man. you're gonna <laughs> destroy them. Sals, 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 bro. Sals, remember what Raj said against Tottenham? Oh, Tottenham will win. Remember, just doing that reverse. Oh, no, 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 no. No, do you remember my prediction? I said, man, you are gonna win that. It just it's just one of those things. I don't know what it is. I'll Every time a draw. I'll goal. Take a draw, However, I'll take a this draw. season, the way this team has been playing, I expect them to win. For me, we have to win. Yeah. Just to keep up. We have to win. I'll so it's not even about any choice. Game, yeah. And the way this man new team's been playing, if Bernie can give them a game, surely we must. But usually with Man U, when those games. big games come around, they genuinely raise the level. Look, they get they beat. <laughs> They beat Liverpool, but I'm hoping us Everyone we're not be, as wasteful. Everyone's beating Liverpool. Everyone's beating Liverpool, man. We're not we're not they, as wasteful. Beat... So with that said, another two-two draw, the West Ham Liverpool game. Um, yeah. I think uh, bro, Liverpool should have won it. Bro, bro, ow, oh, oh, sorry, bro. What was I yeah. telling you, man, about these hugs, bro? These hugs, fam. I'm and handshakes. Don't say that. Don't, 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 don't say bro, it. That's so uh, funny. Where's Tariq when you need him? Where's keep, Tariq when you need him? Keep, keep that in mind, yeah. Keep that in mind. But I wanted to ask you, what did you boys uh, make about, uh, think about the whole uh, Gakpo um, not being, uh, you know, when um, uh, uh, a roller, whatever, the keeper threw the ball down? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, ball yeah, was yeah, still yeah, in yeah. play, and Gakpo went to try and uh, kick it, but obviously the ref whistled. But then he came to the player and said something, and he pretended to be injured. What What did you guys think He's about right. that? What did you want to? I've read really it somewhere about a Gakpo. Hold on. It's, oh, I'm not going to lie to you. Kick or I, didn't see it. It. I heard mm. about it. Um, okay, okay. So basically, yeah. So so basically, uh, the corner or something came in, and the keeper catched it. So that's fine. You carry on with normal phase of play. So he now, you know, can kick it like you normally kick it, mm. or put it on the floor, then pass it, or you know, do yeah, do yeah, another yeah. goal kick. But what he did, yeah, is he dropped the ball, then started fixing his socks like as if he got a free kick, and Gakpo saw it straight away, ran to the ball to kick it. And the ref blew the whistle. Mm-hmm. Then he realized what mistake he made. Do you know what? And he then told now, the player, I mean, I mean, get down on the floor, pretend yeah. to be injured, apparently. Do you know what? I'm just but, reading yeah. Ian Wright and Alan Shearer. Ian Wright and Alan Shearer yeah. read about Anthony Taylor's messy decision. Anthony Taylor again, but yeah. these referees, man. They need to get this new is... referees, man. I swear. They need to demote them, man. What was a tired applying to be a referee? No, that's tired. That's tired. No, no, no. That's tired, our guy. Yeah, that's what no, I'm saying. No, no. Thingy, listen, leave, leave his name up. Um, what well, I would say is, is yeah, be demoted, man. They had, they I think they had enough chances to score anyway. And oh, obviously, yeah. now we're going to talk about the second controversy that came up. And that was the whole Jurgen Klopp <laughs> and Salah. Handshake. Bro, Handshake. I find this so childish, bro. It's absolutely there will childish. be fire if I speak because there will if be speak, fire. Yeah, 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 I've yeah. never he seen a grown man get upset because someone didn't shake his hand, and another grown man refusing. Like, well, actually, Salah did what Salah did, he did the bare minimum, which was to shake his hand or whatever. Yeah, but like, like, they, they like Jorgen, Jorgen Klopp, yeah, he came back to instigate more, yeah, but like. Mm. <laughs> Bob, you can't like make man. this up, Al. You can't make this bro, up, bro. I couldn't understand. Like, who's in the wrong, first of all? Who is in the wrong here? Bro, bro, bro. bro. For me, yeah. Klo- you know, I heard, basically, this is the situation. Uh, Salah was basically, you know, um, warming up, but he was doing it slowly. He was talking to the West Ham players, whatever, yeah? So, I think Klopp wanted him to be, you know, a bit more quicker, a bit more on it sort of thing. But anyway, he comes, mm. he comes now to shake his hand. And you know how Klopp, you know, shakes your hand, hugs you before you come on or come off or whatever. Mm. So, apparently Salah gave him a limp handshake and then he, mm. when he was trying to go in for a hug, Salah didn't mm. want no part of it. Maybe because yeah. he's thinking, bro, we're going for the league, how are you leaving me on the bench? Whatever, anyway. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, because he didn't get... start. But, Peace. yeah, that's the reason. So obviously, any top professional, bro, if you're a top player, you're going to be frustrated and if you're not, you got an issue. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. You know, that's fine. So Salah's side, you know, he's frustrated. That's okay. He still shook his hand. That's okay. Mm. Why my guy is dying for a hug 
and then making it big. And like you said, bro, coming back again, saying, oh, where's my hug? Where's my hug before you go on? Bro, let the game go on. Put the guy on. Why are you having a cry for? The joke is, yeah, nine years Klopp has been in uh, Liverpool, yeah. We've never yeah. heard of any player give any issues or talk bad about Klopp or whatever. Now, just before he goes, four games before he goes, fam, yeah. this all comes out. And even to Salah you know to say Salah? later, you know, when he says to the media, whatever, oh, yeah. if I speak, there's fire. fire. Bro, I'm just loving it, innit? Norbert Ooh. Klopp, bro, is the biggest Klopp and the biggest, bro, I don't know. Do you know what it is? Because they, they know, they know he's going, man. No, Sal- but Josh, Sal- I mean, no, no, no. no. It's, not, it's not about going. It's about why you, like, why don't yeah. you just deal with it afterwards? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you know what? The thing is, yeah, and Salah was wrong in the sense that when he said to the reporters, oh, imagine, I speak, imagine fire. Yeah. You don't was... need to say that. That's just bullshit. You're a grown man, bro. Mm. Just let it go. Have a conversation with Klopp. Because especially before mm. Klopp just said before that, ah, oh, we ended it in the dressing room, whatever. Let it be. Yeah. But my yeah. guy said that added more fuel to the fire, literally. Yeah. And Do you know what Klopp's it? there crying because he didn't get his hug. And mm. I told you, man, last thingy, bro. Trent's not doing good because he's, you know, he's not getting enough of the love. Cause he's, not know, the hugs. he's not getting the hugs. He's not getting the hugs. You know what? Out. If that. If that was Alex Ferguson or Arsene Wenger, and if Salah said they'll be fired, bro, he ain't never playing for that club again. Trust me. Mm. If that was Ferguson, Salah's contract's gone. Salah's done it, regardless if he goes or not. So that, do you know what? That's why they don't care about Klopp no more. Because they couldn't, they wouldn't do that to uh, Arsene Wenger or Alex Ferguson, bro. These men would have been done dusting, bro. Trust me. So they know Klopp's leaving. Like yeah, hugs. I, I I just find it funny, like. <laughs> you you can clearly tell the guy's pissed off and you're going bro, back you go, to who yeah. elite elite manager elite player and they're fighting over a hug bro like come on fam you're playing for elite club bro in a top league bro, keep it indoors man. keep it indoors I swear I think Josh or someone I wasn't watching that game in it I think Josh or someone messaged yeah uh, are you seeing this I'm like what's going on I jump on I have a look I'm like nah I thought man's were just, you know, they're just taking the piss. Yeah, it's it's one of the story funniest up. things ever. I, I, told I you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the beef, look at the beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. But it just explains what Liverpool are going South. for. I think Terry was right. Do you know what it sounds? If... I, I blame Klopp. I blame Klopp. Because Salah's the main man. He needed to play. He wanted to play. You man benched him for a crucial game. And then hugs and stuff, bruv. Keep it after the full-time yeah. whistle, bruv. It's all Klopp, bruv. Yeah, exactly, bro. I think it's definitely club, bro. Because, like I say, Ooh. professional athlete, he wants to come on, he wants to help his team, yeah. and you're not playing him. How? Yeah. No, I, I play. You you can play. Tell, the reason why he didn't hug you is because he's annoyed. So just let him be. You should know that. Yeah, exactly, but he's not injured. He's ready to go. Yeah. yeah. He's he's your best. He's your best bit of getting a goal. Two two full time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, it's, it's mm. mad, bro. I swear that. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. No bet flop, bro. It's no a funny thing. Sal, remember, yeah, I, but... Sal, remember, I told you about no bet. Yeah, yeah, you did, cuz. Bro, you know what? Another thing here. Bro, this is not a thing you hate against Liverpool, yeah, but it's just funny how, yeah, all this hug situation, one league cup, and he's leaving, like, for yeah. Do you know what I mean? My guy was supposed to take the quadruple. Yeah, how many? How many years I, I has it been here? Nine years. Do you know what it nine is? Years. Yeah, they, they, they. Do you know what it is? So it's one, one league it's and one champion league nine online. years. Online, it, it's it's one. The issue was it's the online Liverpool fans that have got like a big voice. They were saying the quadruple. Then the media kind of latched onto it as well, and it was one of the dumbest things they could have done. Like, you just added right. extra layer of pressure. Now look. It's hard to win the Premier as it Even is. Last season, I no. pressure. Mm. So I don't know why why it did that. I don't know. Like, do you guys think it was a good idea Klopp uh, announced his retirement quite early on and not towards the end maybe or something? No. Bruv, you know what, bro? Keep it, just go, go, go both ways out, isn't it? Because mm. some days we'll be like, you know, you know what, what, he's going... You know, mm. fans are up for it. The whole atmosphere is there. It's going. Let's send him on a high. But on the mm. other end, you just put so much pressure on yourself. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and then, you know, sometimes when a manager is staying, a player wants to give his wall. He's like, you know what? I don't want to fall out with the manager. I'm yeah. not going to play. Now mm. players are probably thinking, bro, I don't care. Mm. My guy's gone out the door mm. in a few months. I'm here. New one's going to come that's... in. I'm going to be here, not him. So why should I give 110%? That's... Do you know what, Sal? Do, do, do that's I mean? what Salah's thinking, bro. That's what Salah's thinking. You're gone, bro. I'm going to be here for now, at least another year. Yeah, 100%. Salah I think Salah care, would have bro. hugged him if he was Klopp, didn't, Klopp was staying. Do you know what I mean? He probably mm. would have beat the bullet, whatever, and he'd be like, you know what, let me just... Yeah. Well, he would have been, uh, uh, been the player of the year. 
apparently mm. he's now staying as well. He's not going to Saudi. Yeah, for a while. So yeah, one more year. However long, stay, he, what, two more years or whatever. However long his contract is there. But the worst part is, I think, I think overall the fan base and and the club, they were ready to move on. So and they thought, yeah, do you know what? He can go after this year, and we're gonna get a big chunk of money as well. It's good. But apparently You're the new manager wants him to stay, and he, and I think that's that's the wrong decision. They should have sold him when they had the chance for 150 M's. 150 got that money. M's, brother. They kept oh, him. Not even yeah. more. Maybe 175. That's what the Saudi clubs were offering. And so they should have used that I money. I would have, I would have taken him to the airport, bro, if I was a Liverpool fan. You know what I mean? So, like, bro, I would have taken him to Saudi myself. I would have taken him to Saudi. No done point, him, bro, so, like, obviously, this is all hindsight now. But either way, given the choice, I still would have said, you know what, just sell him. We could use that money to reinvest in a team. Yeah, Imagine they got the 175 and they gave all of that, not all of it, but you know what I mean? They gave a big chunk of that to Mbappe. They could have given like a proper financial listen, package. Listen, oh, put, it this, no. put it this way, put it this way, put it this way, South. If they, if they said to you now, you know what, call Palmer 150 or Saka 150, what are you going to do? Sell mm. one time, bruv, 150. Bro, it's one time. I will, bro, I will drop I him will, myself, I bro. I'll pack his bags for mm. him. You know what I mean? I'll be like, bro, get out, fam. See 150, you bruv. You know how many, you know you can buy... You can do a squad overhaul with hundred. No, but you know what? Bro. You know what the you know what the joke is. You mentioned Saka and Kopama, yeah. At least even if you said no, they're young. They give they give us ten years. Salah's not giving you ten years, bro. Salah's yeah, just giving you another thing, two. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So sell him, bro. You know what I mean? If he was twenty, I understand he's bagging you thirty goals a season. Okay, fair enough. Keep him in it. Do you know what I mean? But bro, it's madness, man. He should have gone, but you know what? They didn't. Now, now they got Arnie. Get on the chopper. Do you know what I mean? Arnie's slot machine. Arnie. Arnie, Arnie, Arnie. Apparently, they're already talking targets and the players they want to buy sell, sell, sell. Uh, for the summer. If you listen to if listen if you listen to Arnie, yeah, and close your eyes, I swear it's Klopp. Check it, yeah. check it. Listen to his one of his videos and just close your eyes. You'll think it's Klopp, bro. So um, by now, um, obviously everyone knows. Obviously, Nottingham Forest uh, lost, so Man City won two 0 so basically, uh, I'll just show the table and just show the positions of all the leagues, uh, all the uh, all the clubs here. Harlem, so as Harlem, it stands, Harlem. obviously Arsenal still at top. Uh, obviously, thirty-five games played, eighty points, fifty-seven goal difference. Man City thirty-four, seventy-nine points. So obviously, if they've got that game in hand, is Chelsea? Is, is the Chelsea? No, it's the Tottenham game. That's the game in hand. Sorry. Game, so yeah. once they've got the Tottenham game, then it's all level. But obviously, next game for City... Oh, I can't remember who it is. Who's the next game for City? Mm, good question, but I have no it was idea. Wolves. Okay. Wolves in the weekend. Uh, we're going to discuss that in uh, uh, on our Thursday spot. It's Wolves. It's Wolves, yeah. Josh. Uh, we're going to discuss uh, that for the next spot anyway. But, I mean, as it stands, obviously, Arsenal top, Man City second, 79. Liverpool now fourth with a five-point... A uh, gap between them and Arsenal. Aston Villa keep hold keep hold of the fourth position. Spurs fifth uh, with two games in hand. However, if they even if they do win, they're still below Aston Villa because they can only get sixty six points. Uh, Aston Villa on sixty seven. Mm. Um, obviously, Manu is below Spurs. They're on sixth position, fifty four. So they're on 34 games as well. So if they win the next two, they could potentially catch up. But goal difference is highly unlikely. One. And obviously One. Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea are ninth. Uh, 33 games played, 48 points. But obviously if they win their two games in hand or one game in yeah, hand, game you in can hand, take yeah, it to yeah. 51, basically above West Ham. That's pretty much it. Who's your game in hand against Tottenham? Yeah, tomorrow. No. Thursday, bro. Thursday, Thursday. we got Tottenham. Ah, who's home? So, uh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chelsea, because they already beat them away, didn't they? That four-one or five-one fashion. That's, that's, yeah, that's a good. Nicholas Jackson had to. Or if it's the high line again, do you know what? Ange has been found out. I don't think if he plays the way he is next season, it's going to be sacked. Because come on, teams. Yeah, he's going to be sacked. No, nah, no. Nah, you know what, Josh? Hundred percent. My guy next season, they're going to suffer, bro, because he only has one style yeah. of play. You can't change it. And hey, you know what? And I, yeah, yeah, he ain't got plan B. He ain't got plan B. 
Yeah, yeah this high line, bro. Come and on, man. You can't level, be playing high line. However good you are, and they're not even good, but they don't even have the players. You know what I mean? So don't act like you're Barcelona. Mm. Do you know you what? I'm Barcelona. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I forgot. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot to mention this player, but that also means Mount is for sale from India. <laughs> From man, <laughs> they just got him. Mount, of, nah, babe, mount is on ja, mount is just, loan. Just thank you very much for the mount money. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, no, he's on loan, sir. Don't you know he's on, he's on loan? Oh, he's on loan. He's on loan. Know. He's on loan. He's on loan. Nah, but, but yeah, do you man, know what? But be, no, you, we can't judge man, bro. We can't judge man, man. man, man he's been injured, man. Bro. Honestly, injured. I don't rate him at all. No, no, it's this manager, man. Out, it's this manager. He's free and he's not again again. Is his manager? His no, is not you know, the game. That's I fully, I fully accept that. I fully accept Ten Hag is a bad manager. The issue is when he's been on the pitch, I haven't seen anything either. And the issue is when oh, you get limited oh, chances. No, when, when you get limited chances, the pressure is even more now for you to perform because you never know when your next game is going to be. It's the same goes for Mudrik you know and all these other players. That are playing with uh, that you know have what, bad South? managers. Think he had a good game. What's his name? Uh, what's your guy, mean? Uh, the guy in the midfield for Chelsea, Caicedo. He had a really good game. Yeah, he had Villa. an awesome game. You know what I've seen mm. as well. Yeah, yeah, when, Enzo, when Enzo doesn't one of his play, games. when mm. Enzo doesn't play, bro, he plays awesome. I think Enzo and Caicedo doesn't work, and it's frustrating because they want to fit both of them in, both a hundred million players. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah the really price tag. does not work. Yeah, that's the joke, bro. It's the even price as, tag. Before when Enzo's missed. Even mm. the everything game, yeah. Enzo didn't play one six nil. Mm. Casado was sitting there, controlled the game, bro. It's Kaseda one of those, played, man. It's, uh, we it's a tough that one, game. you know. We played really good, yeah, bro. But yeah, I think coach has yeah. been told to play. You know, when you sign a big player, the chairman or whoever is telling the manager, fucking play him. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I think it's one of them ones, isn't it? But yeah, they, they oh, dictate right. who plays, yeah. They, they decide, they, they pick the team basically. They pick the team. Yeah, you know, certain players are untouchable, isn't it? Owners pick the team, man. Uh, Bruno, Rashford, these are... But then again, Bruno's been benched. Before before I end it, I, I want to show you guys this here. This is quality. Listen to this, house. Michael Dawson. Dawson. <laughs> Just listen. I, I can't hear anything. Oh, hold on, hold on. Can you hear it? Hold on, no. hold on, hold on. Let me share it. Michael again. Dawson. Oh, the volume is low. Okay, okay. Uh, let me share it again. Where's it gone? It's one of the funniest things I've heard, bro. This is Paul Merson as well in there. Watch. Yeah. Lewis kicks it and <laughs> oh, I can't hear it, bro. Can you? Is the subtitles out? Because I can't hear him. Yeah, it's oh, very no. light, bro. I couldn't even make out anything you said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Share screen. Oh, I, I, I think I'll, I'll just have to share it with you afterwards. But so, uh, we can't hear so... nothing. No, we can't hear nothing. That's what I mean. Is the subtitles? <laughs> What's he saying? Oh. I was saying his thingy. So basically, you know, like Michael Dawson, he's chatting. He's chatting. Oh, Tottenham did really well. I sent you the link on your, just the WhatsApp. Us, just tell us. What did he say? No, no, no. He's he's chatting. Oh, yeah. Tottenham uh, deserve to win. To Arsenal don't. Blah, blah, blah. Paul Merson goes, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's going to help you for next season. Don't worry. And Keane is just there, like laughing his head off. Because she knows Bro. what are you talking about? What are you, you know, about? you know what? You this is, I swear down here, yeah, you know what this reminds me about mm. Chelsea played yeah. Tottenham, yeah. German Chelsea tennis bit, yeah. and uh, Frank mm. Lampard were sitting in the studio, yeah. And then it's like, yeah. oh, Tottenham, you remember, we won four two, so like, yeah. we smashed them, yeah, yeah. And then he said something along the lines of, Oh, Tottenham played so good, da, da, da. and then he just said, They, lost, they just lost four two. Like, you know, my guy was just quiet. I think Tottenham, bro, they don't have anything in it, even the players, yeah. bro. Come on, look, they got legends like Dawson, cuz that says it all in it. We got players like Drogba, Rooney, killer, Henri, do you know what I mean? Bro, come on, man. And bro, one last, level. one last is, is, is it's not even audio. Mm. <laughs> come here, come here. Should I do the voiceover? Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> hey, why you not give me a hug? Yeah, 
I don't want to give yeah. you a hug. <laughs> bro, my guys with it. Roy Keane in his eyes, bro. He gives he Roy Keane gives them killer looks. You know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway. Um. Well, that's that's pretty that's pretty much it. So, uh, next pod we will discuss Tim Sherwood and then the King. So technically, uh, so Wednesday tomorrow, Thursday is the uh, pod. By then, is is the Chelsea game the only midweek game, or is there any other games? I think that's it, bro. I think th- okay. Thursday so discuss- technically, we'll be able to discuss that for a bit. Then we'll go, what we're going to do is we're going to do the usual weekend preview. But beyond that, uh, Sals, do you want to do the usuals for us, please? Well, thank you to all the subscribers and all that. Keep on, keep on following us, guys. Leave some comments. Let us know how we're doing. If you'd like to hear anything from us as well. And then I always get one thousand subscribers gets a, they gets a shirt. You can have one of these classic shirts. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> bad boy shirts. Um, so Amazon voucher or a potential uh, giveaway, uh, giveaway. Kit giveaway to one of these lucky subscribers please, to our YouTube channel. Uh, please do follow us to get us to that 1,000 mark. Uh, we do have other socials. We're on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter now. Feel free to go give that a follow as well. We'll probably be announcing competition stuff there once we hit our YouTube milestone. As usual, please do go follow South's, South's TikTok. Man like, Man like Sally. Yeah, Man Like South. Oh, Sally, sorry, but I think the link's going to be in the bio uh, below anyway. But, Sals, uh, you've got quite a few following likes as well on that now, haven't you? Yeah, man, Some of your clips. L- love for that, guys. Over like 8,000 and then 64,000 views. It's all it's all no, good, guys. 64,000 nice. views. Appreciate, nice. appreciate, appreciate the support. Yeah, so, again, a big Spend thank you to everyone. Spend the love. Yep. Apologies for not um, getting this out earlier today. Um, so, but here we go now. Hopefully, you enjoy it. Uh, Phil, please do engage and um, do comment and let us know what you think about some of the North London derby. Uh, yeah, how have you been? Was it a penalty? Was it not? Um, the Man U game, you know, Burnley drawing 1 uh, 1. Is, is Ten Hag a dead man walking? What's going to happen? Will uh, Pochettino survive the summer? And yeah, uh, and the only other certain thing is uh, Tottenham will uh, always be in Arsenal shadow.